So 2K right now guys ended up adding a lot of free stuff that I feel like every single person should go after because they ended up adding one of the best free players. I do also have to spin the wheel for a free Galaxy Opal and hopefully we can get lucky. And there's also some free packs that you never know you could get lucky with with the new content that 2K ended up adding. So you definitely do want to make sure that you pay attention to this video. And if you guys are like me and you want more free stuff, like the video right now, subscribe. And let me know down below in the comments something recent that you ended up getting new in my team. And we're going to get right into it. So one of the first things that you want to do right now is you want to log in. And if you guys are like me and you've been logging in every single day, you should now have 10 pieces for that free Galaxy Opal mural that we do have in my team. And so hopefully you logged in. And also, if you guys ended up logging in every single day, you get to spin the wheel and we get a chance at a free Galaxy Opal out here. I do want to get Lou Hudson because I want to add him to my collection. There's also tokens, MT, and stuff like that. And so hopefully we can get lucky. And so let's go ahead and spin it right here. And hopefully I can get a free Galaxy Opal because you never know. And oh, oh, I end up getting what happened has to be literally the worst thing that you can possibly get when it comes to the wheel. Oh my goodness. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys ended up getting if you did spin the wheel. Maybe you got the opal. Maybe you got something else. Just let me know down below. And let's keep it going right here because like I said, 2K ended up adding a really good free player that every single person should get and he's super easy to redeem. And so right now we got to go through the collections and you guys can see right here, they ended up adding two players. Now one of them is actually going to be my boy Steve Blake. He's not the better of the two, but at the same time though, I do want to take a look at him ex laker 94 three-pointer 65 driving dunk out here ball handling is a 96 firmer defense 94 interior defense 87 he's got a 92 speed 92 speed with the ball lateral quinn is 94 okay so my boy steve out here nothing too special 11 hall of fame badges cat and shoot clamp breaker dimer floor general needle threader quick first step unpluggable challenger clamps and then glove and pig dodger too so my boy got a new card however though he's not the best one the best one is going to be this guy right here guys they made him 611 and he's super easy to get he can play the four he can play the three and at 611 you got one of the better cards in my team right now 93 pointer for him oh my goodness bro He's got an 87 mid-range, 85 driving dunk, 80 standing dunk. The ball handling is an 86. I do want to see the defense. And look at that right there. 90 perimeter defense, 90 interior defense, 88 steal, and 88 block. Nah, 2K completely juiced this card. Oh my goodness, bro. Even the rebounding is up there. 88 speed. He's definitely going to be one of the best small forwards that you can get in my team. And he's so easy to get, guys. 90 lateral quickness. I got to see the badges on him, though. Please tell me you got some shooting badges. He's got catch and shoot, Claymore, corner, clamp breaker, quick first step, anchor, chase down artist, clamps, menace, off ball pass, pulse lockdown. Okay, so he doesn't have limitless range on Hall of Fame, but you have it on gold though. He does have it on gold. He does also have green machine, dead eye. Nah, they made this guy really good. I got to see the animations though, because I have a feeling the animations are going to be great too. And so let's take a look right here. So he has a seven foot wingspan. Oh my goodness, 611. Obviously, we saw the stats and the badges, and he can basically hold every badge too, right? Yeah, he can hold every single one. He has every defensive badge too. Oh my goodness, bro. Nah, you guys have to get this card. I got to see the animations on him though. So they ended up giving him the... Yo, they gave him the Kobe lower and the John Collins upper. Nah, this guy and quick. Oh, not very quick. Interesting. They've been giving a lot of players very quick, but for him... He got quick out here. He's got the Kobe moving crossover. He's got the Michael Jordan dribble style. He's got the Steph Curry. He can Curry slide it. Yo, now we all have to get this card right here, guys. Oh my goodness, 2K. This gets me excited for the future players that we're going to keep getting because Jared right now is looking like a big fat W. And I'm telling you guys, you have to get him. And the way to get him, let's take a look at exactly what 2K wants us to do with the new agendas. And let's take a look right here. So we got to go down here to the tab, to the Bracket Busters one. And let's see what we got to do. So for this one, we wow, that's it. Just get six defensive rebounds in a game with a wizard player. And we end up getting one of the best free cards in the game. Yo, there's no way, bro. I thought it was going to be... Yo, I knew it was easy because all of these have been super easy. But I was not expecting it to just be six defensive rebounds in a game with the wizard player. You could literally just do that in triple dead offline. Go into a game and then you just end up getting the six rebounds and you end up getting one of the best cards in the game because it is an option pack and so it's going to be steve blake and then of course jared you guys know who to pick right unless you're like the biggest steve blake fan and you already have a small forward i really don't see how anybody would pick steve blake over jared and so definitely go for the seven footer just get it done in triple dot offline get it done naturally just play a game 
and you'll probably end up getting it done. It has to be with a wizard player, so definitely do that, obviously. And so that's gonna be the two free players that 2K ended up adding. And on top of that, don't forget that 2K ended up releasing the new Phenom packs, which I will be giving you guys a pack opening on later on. You do not wanna miss that pack opening, by the way. And so we gotta take a look at exactly how to get a free pack, because you guys know I got you guys covered with everything out here. And so let's take a look at the challenge. Let's see what 2K wants us to do for this one. And so you guys can see, you end up getting a free Phenoms pack, which you do have a chance of pulling any of these players that you see. You got Dark Matter, Lonzo, you got Dark Matter Shaq, you got Galaxy Oval Brandon Ingram, you got the Pink Diamond Demi got out here, you got all these players that you do have a chance of getting, obviously it is a chance, you never know, some people are going to be walking away with a Dark Matter, a Galaxy Oval, some people are going to get an Emerald, a Sapphire, a Ruby, if you guys already opened that pack, let me know what you ended up getting from it, because I'm always curious to know if you guys got lucky, and so to get that free pack right there, you also end up getting some free MT, so it's 500, and it's super easy, 21 point triple threat game, you can even do the agenda that I showed you guys earlier, in this game and then just end up walking away with a really good free player and so that's gonna be challenge number one 500 mt and then the next one is going to be for five tokens for this one you do have to win the game and make one three-pointer and then you do have to make one dunk with a single player and that's also going to be a triple threat game 21 points super easy you can definitely get that done you get five tokens and then you do also have to do this challenge right here for 1500 so you do end up getting 2000 mt for free and i know that's not much but at the same time though if you've been doing all the challenges and stuff like that that mt definitely starts adding up and so for this one you do have to score 25 points with any player it's going to be a five minute quarter type of game and you are going up against all the new players that 2k ended up releasing and remember with that free pack right there you never know you could get zo2 austin brandon ingram paolo shaq maybe somebody else and you'd be surprised i have been seeing some people get lucky with the free packs and speaking of free packs there's actually another one that you guys can get and it's going to be through the agendas now for this one it is going to be when the weekend for this one also keep in mind that it is going to be non auctionable so whatever you get in that one you cannot sell it but for the challenge one you can since that one is auctionable so for this one we have to go out there and make seven three-pointers with wizard players over you know in a single game we do also have to get two steals in a game with a player two times i hate when they do two times that's something they ended up adding this year and i hate it they're like, make 10 points three different times. No, just make it one time, 2K. And then the next one is going to be to make 10 dunks with a Lakers player over multiple single player games. Keep that in mind, it is single player. And then the next one is going to be to score 10 points and shoot 100% field goal percentage with a player in a single game. And then after that, you do have to play 40 minutes with a Sapphire player over multiple limited games. That one definitely is going to take you a bit, but you can definitely get it done. 40 minutes It's going to give you some XP too for that Dark Matter Tyler Hero if you're still going for level 40. And then after that, you do have to win a game using three phenom players and so you do have to get some of those obviously you do the challenge you have a chance of getting one and then the other ones you can definitely buy in the auction house the pink diamonds are cheaper than the other ones and then after that you do have to score 60 points over multiple multiplayer games and then you end up getting 2500 xp so you get some xp you end up getting the free pack right there non-auctionable and then you do end up getting one step closer to that dark matter tyler hero which i definitely do got to go after too and so this right here guys definitely go after the free player the free pack spin the wheel let me know where you guys end up getting and i just wanted to give you a heads up go after all this free stuff like the video subscribe comment down below definitely check out the pack opening i did check out some more free stuff we got and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video